teaching me. Today is weekend. And your father is supposed to be home by now. But Mama, it's no year late. Daddy must surely come back unless he's something happened. Mommy, nothing will happen. Daddy must come back. I need to eat us on Sunday. No bet. Rice eater. Mommy, <laughs> rice eater. I'm just eating rice. Give her, please, give her. Lovette, go outside and get me a broom. Huh? Let me sweep this place. To go and see a friend. We have a friend. Kate, she's seriously sick. What is Zalis wrong with her? I don't know. She suddenly started losing weight. Mm -hmm. That's all right. I will be attending my age grade meeting later in the day. And um, when I come back, I would like to eat vegetable soup and stockfish. Trust me, I will make you the best of good with you. That's my darling. <laughs> Come to the house this evening to see you. Okay, that would be nice. Yeah. That would be nice. So yeah. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. Right. Okay. somebody else. After all, my husband is always away. Come on. Come on. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Who is that? Wait, I'm coming.
plus. We appreciate the kind reception you've given to us. On behalf of my brothers, I say thank you. Thank you. Our proverb says that the toad does not run in the daytime for nothing. So our mission is to bring back to you the green leaf which you give to us. My in-laws, I am surprised about what people have just said. For one day, I have never received any report of my daughter's misbehavior. How come they divorce? Wifi, we are not here to lodge any complaints to you. I am the one marrying your daughter, and there is nothing to hide. Your daughter committed an abomination, and I cannot live with an adulterous wife. Period. Good day. Chill. Mm -hmm. What you have done is an abomination. No sensible man goes to sleep with another man's wife. That is sacrilege, a desecration of the land, and must not go unpunished. When a bird chooses to perch on a rope, it must be prepared to dance with the rope. That is our decision. Exactly. The nose does not get swollen unless something happens to it. A child who throws sand at his maze asks for pebbles in return. You are to bring eight cola nuts, seven large tubers of ugo yams, one tortoise, and a male dog for the purification of the land. This must be done within four days. Otherwise, But by the way, why didn't you pressurize him to take you to the altar? I wanted 
a society wedding. But he wanted a white wedding. Before I knew it, I'm here in my father's compound. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Don't worry. I believe you'll get married to someone else. You are still very young. After all, one man's meat is another man's poison. It's okay, stop crying. I meant no harm. It's okay. That As I was coming back from my station yesterday, the daughter of my boyfriend came and insulted me, Mama. For what? <laughs> For what? She called me a stranger in this village. No, no. Because of it, I cannot be a member of the tomb I'm missing, Mama. Uchina. <laughs> Mama, I am sick. I am tired of all the insults that I am getting in this village. I am sick and tired of it all. My mates, Mama, my mates call me a bastard. God, even some call me a slave, Mama, a slave. No, I can't take it anymore, Mama. Now tell me, how come each time I talk about going to see my father, you turn me down? You decline, Mama. Why? Me. I know how painful it is that for you. I have been preventing you from going to your father. It's because he will reject you. No, Mama. Mama, I say no. My father cannot reject me. I am now a full blown man. I, I want to see my father. But we shouldn't have done this. Come on. I enjoyed it. I cannot live with an adulterous wife. For one day, I have never received any report of my daughter's misbehavior. How come the divorce? Kingsman, about your problem. Chief Dennis, it is 25 years now you divorced your wife. We have been taking care of these children whom you abandoned as a result. In my community, we don't inherit a child that does not belong to any man. That is why myself and my king's men are here to tell you to come and take your children. We have heard you. And I am sure you are well understood. We shall deliberate on the matter. And after four market days, you will hear from us. <sighs> we shall be waiting for you. Bye-bye. Safe journey. Bye. Bye. My kinsmen, I must speak out on this subject. Dennis, no man rejects his children. Uchenna and Lovett are your children. They are your inheritance from God. My advice is 
that you arranged to bring those children home. The son of a lion does not die in a strange land. Never. Never. myself when your brother is about to put fire on the roof of his house. How? He wants to bring back those illegitimate children back into this house. That's how. Don't repeat that. And make sure nobody hears what you have just said. Uchena and Lovett are legitimate children. Did you hear me? It's true you and Dennis were dead in the church. But remember, the bride price of his former wife was paid. Oh, really? Of course, yes. Therefore, it is unfair for you to insist that those children should remain on exile. No sensible man would do that. Hey, is that your position on this issue? Of course it is. Is that how you feel on this issue? issue? It is. <laughs> Are you going mad? Is that your house? Put your house. Mad woman. Put your house. Mom, what is it? What is it? Your father. He has decided to bring back the very people who he rejected before. I thought a man is known for keeping his word. Even the Bible says, let your yea be your yea, and let your nay be your nay. I'm fast losing respect for this man. Mom, it's all right, now. Um, it's even good that we have brothers and sisters so that we can play around here at home. You're a fool. You're a stupid fool. Think! Do you think if these people come back into this home, you're still going to be number one, son? <laughs> no. After they have divided your father's property, you are going to take the least of that property. Use your head. Think. Mommy, I'm sorry. You're right. I can now understand. So all you have labeled with father will be in vain. I'm glad you're reasoning. I'm glad you're not thinking. Now come here. I want you to talk to your father. And I want you to do it subtly. Let him understand that this would do. After all the years of suffering in this house, how can we just allow some stupid bastards to come from our side and divide what is rightfully ours? Where is he? He's in the good pen. My mother has told me everything. Why do you want to bring back these people to this house? Which people? Uh, I don't know what they are called. Uh, Uchenna and Lovett. Will you tell everyone? Izuna, you are my son. And Uchenna and Lovett are my children too. So, they are your brother and sister. Now tell me, what's wrong in bringing them back to this house? If you bring this people back to this house, there will be no peace in this house. What did you say? There will be no peace in this house if you How? bring them back. How? Tell me. After all, their mother has no good record. Mm. So they are likely to be like their mother. Izumna, you talk like a child. That's a very wrong notion. You see, they are as good as you are. Besides, tradition demands that they must come back and live in my house. Since you don't want to listen to me, I will await the arrival. Is in there? Is in there?
<laughs> Today is a very remarkable day in this family. It's a day all the members of this family have come together to know one another. I give God the glory for this very special moment. Uchenna. My father. Love it. This uh, is Una. Meet my wife, Joyce. Kind of. This is Izuna. Helen. Ngozi. They are all my children. Izuna. Helen. Ngozi. Meet Uchenna and love it. My children too. So you are all brothers and sisters. Hmm? Joyce. You now have a large family. <laughs> so take care of us. <laughs> uh, you have anything to add? Of course. Although you have said it all, but I want to say that this is a very happy moment for me. That's right, right. that's right. Thank you. Good children. I love it. Yes. I welcome you to this family. Everybody here is one, so feel at home. Hmm? Um, Dennis, I wouldn't live here without saying that this is a very special blessing for you. Oh, I thank God for this day. to everybody. Thank God. So I thank God for all of us. And if you don't mind, I move across to have my dinner. Okay. I'll see you later. Right. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good night, everybody. That's my senior brother. Our uncle. <laughs> um, Joyce, I want to take them to the other apartment. As you can see, they're all grown ups now and uh, working class kids. Uh, Uchena, let me take you to the other apartment. Good night, Mommy. Everybody in the house is happy. Everybody is happy. Uh, as it is now, you are not lacking anything. No. Sure. Uh, I thank God that uh, Lovett and uh, Uchenna are grown ups now mm -hmm. and uh, they work in a big organization in the city. They're all grown ups now, like you know, mm -hmm. and uh, they can always take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. Try and advise your children. Let them treat Lovett and Uchenna as their brother and sister. Please. I'll do my best. I'll Promise? Try. Yes. Promise? Yes. Everything will be in order. <laughs> okay, my dear. Okay, let me put this in. Oh. Johnny, oh. thank you very much. Drive
I'm talking to you. Listen up. Don't you ever mention my name again. I don't accept you as my brother. So, you don't have any reason to call my name. Do you hear that? Long enough to know when trouble is coming. You have to be very careful. Do you know that your husband was part of the plan for the homecoming of Uchen and Lovett? He wants to divorce you. Wait, 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 Mary. Where did you get all this? I'm telling you. You know we are friends. I cannot lie to you. Yeah, I know we're friends, but. Listen, I have a good marriage. We have a very good relationship. And we have our ups and downs, like every other couple. What? We got wedded in church. <laughs> yes, I know you had a church wedding. But that does not mean he cannot divorce you. Men are very dangerous. Soon, he will bring back his former wife, too. You can't sit down here and watch him treat you this way. You have to fight for your rights. Otherwise, all you've worked for over these years will go in vain. Baby. Are you back? Eh, 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 eh. Don't you ever call my name again. Don't try it again. I'm not your mate. Am I your mate? You shameless idiot. I don't want to eat. Oh. Why? Which is? Let me sit down. Love it. I think it's high time we stopped eating anything that this woman gives us. I'm afraid we might be poisoned in this house. Uchi. No, no, please. Please, Uche, don't yeah, sound that way. Robert, hear me out. Remember the other day, Izuna insulted me when he told me that we are not members of this family. I didn't take those statements lightly. Love it. Are you hungry? Of course, you know I'm hungry. Good. Go into my room. I have bread and butter. I have um, gala. Okay? Eat everything there, but please, please, let's stop eating this woman's food. Uchenna, love it. 
I'm not happy at all with the report I got. I've advised everyone in this house not to discriminate against one another. Now tell me, why exactly did you refuse the food that they served you? Father, we could not have refused the food we were served without a just cause. For God's sake, you have always said it in this house, that Lovett and I are no longer kids, Papa. Yes, we refused the food, but we had reasons for what we did. What are your reasons? I called his honor, my brother, just to have a chat with him. Izuna looked me in the face and insulted me thoroughly, telling me that he had nothing to do with me, that I am a stranger in this house. Now, Papa, what can be more hurtful than that? The other day, Ngozi insulted Lovett simply because she invited her for this caution. She called her an idiot who was trying to rip from where she did not sow. Why? Why, Papa? But we are not members of this family. For this and several other reasons that I don't want to reveal here. We decided that we are not safe anymore in this family. Consequently, Papa. Consequently, we started refusing the food we are given. Izuna, is that true? Ngozi? My wife and her children are trying to cause trouble in my house. In fact, they are trying to intimidate my poor son and his sister. And I'm, I'm confused. You don't have to be confused. Joyce and her children will try everything, including intimidation. And you must not allow confusion to set in. It is not the part of a woman to dictate the pace of activities in the family. And yours must not be the exception. And by the way, I see Joyce as a double-edged sword who must be handled carefully but firmly. You must not succumb to the pressures coming from her and her children. They are very selfish. And I advise you, we must not give in to their wishes. I will be going back to her base tomorrow. You know, she's already worried. Being a banker, she's not supposed to overstay her casually. So we'll be leaving tomorrow. Okay, that's all right. Uh, remember, be hard working. Hmm? I will, Papa. All right, have a nice day. <clears throat> One more thing. I think uh, it's high time you got married. <laughs> think about it. I'm already thinking about it, Papa. Okay. okay. <laughs> Have a nice day. All right.
I want you to meet Angel my regular. Hello, welcome my daughter. Thank you, sir. Ijama is a graduate of UNISEC. She's currently working with NTA as a, a newscaster. Mm. Father, I want to marry her because I love her. But I thought I should first uh, bring her home so that you can meet her and uh, <coughs> give your blessings. <laughs> That's why I've come. Mm. That's very good. The Bible says that whoever findeth a wife findeth favor from God. That's true, Father. Young woman, where exactly are you from? Sir, I'm a native of Isu. Isu? Which village? Umudara, from Onyekachi's compound. Onyekachi's compound? I have a business associate from Onyekachi's compound. You do? You should know him. Uh, Mr. Anosike Okonkwo. You know him? Yes, sir. He's my uncle. Very nice man, Mr. Okonkwo. Very, very nice man. Yes, he is. Are you sure of what you're saying? I saw with my eyes and I heard with my ears. You have to go to Enugu. You have to go and bring back your father. Tell him what has happened. Come on, I'll give you money. You told me to calm down. Not only that, you called me a mad woman. Now it has happened. What happened? I told you, Uchenna and his sister coming back to this compound was going to bring problems in this compound. Now it has happened. Tell me what happened. They have gone to bring their mother oh. to live in my husband's house. Yes. In that That's case, let's talk it. Sit down. Uh, sit, sit down. Sit, sit, sit down. Sit down. Let's talk it. Come on, sit down. Sit down. Joyce. Don't judge me. Don't Do not try. Send me anything. Listen to me. I will send a message across to my brother immediately. I've already done that. You've done that. Yes, I Who do you send? I sent Izuna, my son. Send her Fine. Him. Yes. Since you sent him, be patient. Hmm. Hold on. As soon as he comes back, we all get together and discuss this matter to find out why Uchina has to do that thing behind our back. Okay? Over my dead body, this family. Over my dead body, I tell you. For me to have suffered all the suffering I suffered in this family. For somebody to come and chop my husband's wife over my dead body. Here, this kind of woman.
good enough. Tell me why you brought your mother back to this house without my consent or my brother's knowledge. Papa, Uncle Ode, let me first apologize to you for taking such a step without first notifying you. I did what I did for my purpose and that of my wife and sister. I mean, we can't continue to live in this village without our mother around us. My mother is going to be my responsibility. Everything that she needs, I am going to provide for her. If she dies, and the custom of our people permits that I bury her here, I will take responsibility for that. If not, if the custom does not allow, I will take her back to her village and give her a befitting burial. But please, I beg of you, I won't get up. around. Please. Get up, get up, get up. Please, get up, Uchenna. Now listen to me. We do not object to the idea of your bringing your mother back. What we do not like is the way Amuna you brought her back behind our back to live in the same house with your father's wife. We are not happy about it. You should have waited until you build your own house. Yes. I can now understand. Uncle Ode. I thank you for reminding me that I have not built my own house and that as a condition for bringing my mother back. But my mother is my responsibility. Come back here. Uchenna, come back. Uchenna, come back. Dennis, I will advise you to allow that woman to stay. Yes, she is no longer your wife. You are not taking her to bed. Neither are you going to spend money on her. Let the young man have his way. In a situation like this, there is always a price to be paid. of rules to this house was not my plan. Well, I've been discussing with my brother out there and uh, we both agreed that Uchenna should uh, build a house for his mother so that we can continue to live the way we have been living. If you were unaware of Rose coming back into this house, if your son could take a decision like that without letting you know, does that not say something to you? Does that not tell you that he can even sell the house you're living in without letting you know? Forget about that. Don't bother yourself. I don't have any business with her, and you know it. I don't know. I don't know if I can live with it. In fact, I doubt that I can live with this.
Do you, Uchenna Denis Obenboji, take Ijoma Irebulam to be your lovely wedded wife, to love and to cherish in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, till death do us part? I do. Do you, Ijoma Irebulam, take Uchenna Dennis Obemboji to be your lovely wedded husband, to love and to cherish in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, till death do us part? I do. Say after me. Ijoma Irebulam. Ijoma Irebulam. Take this ring. Take this ring. As the sign of my love and fidelity. As the sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Uchenna Dennis Omemboji. Uchenna Dennis Omemboji. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness strengthen your consent and fill you both with his blessings. Amen. I now declare you husband and wife, what God has joined, man must not divide. you and your children. You have to do something urgently. I know where to take you to. The snake is on the roof. Good day, Papa. Uh -huh. Good day, my children. You are welcome. Thank you, Papa. Sit down. Your husband's first wife and children after you and your husband is supporting them 
How'd you know that? <laughs> Alpha Bobby Co. Hmm? When the sea dries up, the fishes die. Mm. My friend's sea is about drying up. And we cannot fold our hands and watch. So, I want that big tree in the center of the forest cut down. He who fights for his rights fights to win. The butterfly that wages war with thorns should be prepared to lose its fine clothing. Use your hand, your left hand, your left hand. Take this. When you get home, put it in his food. Seven days later, bring me the good news. You can go. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you.
Father. No, I'll Tell him I have bought the Lucozen. Come on, let's go. Father, I have bought the Lucozen. Come on, let's go. No, Uche. no, no. Father, your Lucozen is ready. Father, Father, Uche. no. Uche, come on, let's go. No, no. Uche. Father, let's go. Please, 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 let's go. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, isn't it? Where is uh, Ngozi and Helen? They've gone to bed. Really? Yes. Why are you? I brought you good news. Good news? For me? Yes. I could use a bit of that. What is it? Your husband is dead. What? Now, what are you telling me? What are you telling me? What are you telling me? I am just from the hospital. I said, I told him. I told him. I told him I couldn't live with this. I told him that he wouldn't listen. That means that what the Inter gave us was very potent. Hey, are you joking with the Inter? Don't play with him. He has been my personal counselor in every situation. And of course, he prepared the same concoction for me with which I sank my husband instantly. I trust you. You me? don't take Mary? any nonsense. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Go. Go to the room. Pick up all the documents. Second house in town, find the document, all the vital documents. Pack up everything now. Go, 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 go. Yes, ma'am. What are you testing me? You can now enjoy My your problems life. are over. <laughs> My problems are over. Shaka, <laughs> shaka, 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 We were at the Igwe's palace when this news came. Is it true? But it has struck again. My brother Dennis is dead. Hey! Hey! Ichiwude, did you not even hear a word from him before he died? That is beside the point. 
We have to make plans for his burial. Would they? Do you mean to bury a man that gave me some money for snuff? Just two weeks ago? Eh? Hey! What a world. Ike Ude, we've heard you. It is with deep sorrows in our heart that we, the entire kinsmen of Den... Oh. Huh. That is a thief! Someone the mighty fallen. Where is his wife? No, his first son before any other person. No, not you. Uchenna, come on, pay your last respect to your father. Respected elders of our people, Ndeche, Ekene Mon. You're welcome. Let me start by first thanking you all for honoring my call. You see, since my father died, I've been trying to bring peace and unity in this family. Unfortunately, Izuna and his mother have constantly been a clog in the wheel of my mission. Recently, I reliably guarded that Izuna had seized documents related to the two buildings that my late father has in the city. After a thorough investigation, I found out that he is actually in custody of these documents. And so I confronted him, and Izuna rebuffed me. In the chair, Izuna rebuffed me over the matter. And so I decided that I should first and foremost present this issue before you to hear what you have to say before I take further action. Ekenemu. No, no, no. Izuna, did you hide any document? I won't answer that question. Eh? See, this boy. 
How can you elders be listening to somebody you know? My father did not marry his mother in the right sense of it. Uchenna, let me tell you. I am the only legitimate son of my father. And I will inherit my father's property alone. Period. Isuna, you don't talk Shut up, Isuna. And talk about all the things you know. Now, will you answer the question put one for you? Isuna! Come Isuna. back here! I'll be forced to do something no, no, no. in this family. Take it easy. You shameless elders. Why don't you go home and sleep? You are here trying to divide my husband's property. Look at you. Are you understand? Oh, Isuna! Drop that right now! Now, Uchenna, listen. My father's wealth is not your wealth. If you leave my father's house, or I cut your ass into business. Brother's knife! Or I cut your ass into business. You are the father's house. 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 You are the You dare lift a matchet before me, so now. You! Dare lift a matchet before me. I will deal with you. I have come to you in your capacity as my father's elder brother to inform you that I will be taking his Zuna and his mother to court over my father's property. I see. My son. Yes, uncle. I will support any legal measures which you may decide to take to recover your father's property. Already, the elders are making plans to ensure a peaceful solution to this problem. Go to court. I will support you. And I'm sure the elders will support you too. Well, I thank you, Uncle. Thank you. I thank you very much. Thank you. My regards to the elders. Right. Take care of yourself. I have something I want to tell you. I have concluded arrangements to sue Izumna and his mother to court over my father's property. Really? Yes. If this case is taken to court, will it yield good result? Remember, Izuna's mother is wedded to your father, and she is the wife the government knows. Oh, come on. Ijima, don't let that bother you. You see, the court is competent to handle such cases. Besides, my father paid my mother's bride price, which makes me a legitimate first son of his. Hey, Jonah, it is not in doubt. I am the legitimate first son of my father as well as the family. It is not in doubt. Oh. Anyway, I would have preferred if the elders settled this case. But if you feel the court will be the best, I'll, then I'll pray for your success. In the Heaven Magistrate Court, Igbobi, in the Igboka Magistral District, holding at Igboka, charge number M116-1997, 
between Mr. Uche Nadenis Omemboji, plaintiff applicant, and Izun Nadenis Omemboji, defendant respondents. Motion on notice under other rule, Magistrate Court Rules, 1997. Take notice that this honorable cause will be moved on the 10th day of April, 1997, at the hour of 9 o'clock in the forenoon or soon thereafter, as the counsel on behalf of the plaintiff applicant can be heard for an order of declaration that, one, declaration of the legitimacy of the plaintiff applicant to be entitled to property of his deceased father, two, declaration of the right to partake in the share of their deceased father's property, three, declaration of right of first issue of their deceased father, and for such further order or other others as this honorable court may deem fit to make in the circumstances. Dated this 10th day of April, 1997. I am Bola Rotimi, representing the applicant, Mr. Uchenna Dennis Omimbuji. Barrister David Williams for the defendant, Izuna Dennis Omemboji. Mr. Izuna Dennis Omemboji. Yes, Your Worship. Are you guilty or not guilty? I'm not guilty, Your Worship. My father wedded no other woman in the church except my mother. Secondly, Uchenna's mother was driven away by my late father because of her infidelity. Therefore, I am the only legitimate first son of my father. Your Worship, based on these reasons, I am the only son of my father who has the right to inherit my father's property. Mr. Zunna, Dennis Omenboji. Your Worship. Are you aware that it is our law that a child may be born legitimate or acquire that status by subsequent legitimation. A child is legitimate of birth if born of lawful wedlock in Nigeria. Lawful wedlock includes not only marriage under the section 42, subsection 2 of the Matrimonial Causes Act 1970, but also customary law marriage and Muslim marriage. These types of marriages are by law of the country legal and the issues of such marriages are legitimate and shall therefore be entitled to their father's property accordingly. This case is adjourned to the 25th day of June 1997 for further hearing of the motion. Stop. is going to win this case. There's only one solution. Eliminate him. When he dies, this will put an end to the crisis. So you can inherit every bit of your father's property. I've heard you, Mama. Uchenna is not a problem. I'll take care of him. There are several hired killers everywhere, even in my school. <clears throat> Might be a wise idea to visit the native doctor. Have a nice cover up. That's a very good idea.
Identify corpse in a pool of blood is lying by the side of the railway line. And we just discovered it this morning during our routine check. Was the man killed by the train? No. No, sir. The corpse was only about 45 minutes ago. And no train has ever passed since then. Uh -uh. Oh, you have to exercise some patience. Let's uh, register the report. Calm down. We appreciate your concern over the brutal murder of Uchenna. But please do not take the law into your hands. The matter is being vigorously investigated. And I am sure that before long, justice will be done. Please calm down. I am begging you, calm down. Thank you. We have heard you. All we are saying is that all the people who committed this atrocity must be brought to justice. Yes. 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 That is why he is asking you to calm down. And he has informed you that the matter is being investigated. You will hear the result very soon. We are watching. We no go agree. We no agree. We no go agree. We no agree. The death of Uchenna. We no agree. We no agree. We no agree. Who's in this house? Who's in this house? Who is that? This is the woman. What's the problem? This is the boy. Arrest me. Arrest me for what? Arrest me. Wait, wait, wait. Arrest me for what? Will you hold on? What's going on here? What is my problem? You know what we're doing in the office. What do you mean when you go to the office? What does it mean? Don't touch my son. I can't. Hello. Yes. 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 Yes
because of defending my father's property, I'm going nowhere. Mommy, I'm going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. Let's be fine. Let's be fine. Don't touch my son like that. Hold it. Don't push my son. Don't push my son like that. No. Don't push my son like that. No. 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 Court clerk, please call the next case. In the Heaven Magist Magistrate Court, Ibozi, in the Iboka Magisterial District, holding at Iboka, charge number M116097, between Mr. Uchen Nadenis Omemboji, plaintiff applicant, and Izun Nadenis Omemboji, defendant respondent. Nobody represented the case, both the plaintiff and the defendant are absent. Please let me have the file. The case is struck out until they are ready. As the court pleases. Please call another case. The next case is between Ndubisi Okoronkwo, plaintiff applicant, and Nkemakolam Chimaroke, defendant respondent. How are you? Fine, sir. How is it? Okay. We have come to take Izuna and his mother on bail. Our kinsmen have decided to settle the matter in the village. When you get home, dissolve it in water and drink it. When you cross the coffin, nothing will happen to you. Thank you, Yinta. Thank you. Yeah. 
Here lies Uchenna's corpse. If you have a hand in his death, confess. If you have no hand in his death, place your hands on the coffin and walk around the coffin three times to prove you are innocent. Yeah. 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 